Since the first camera was invented in the early 1800s, photography has become one of the most important and common tools of documentation in recent history. However, while most photographs are images that are easily understood, there have been some images that have baffled the public and even experts because of their strange nature. So that's what we're going to be having a look at today. So here are 15 disturbing and mysterious photos that can't be explained. Number 1. James Courtney and Michael Meehan were two crew members of the SS Watertown who died due to a freak accident when they were cleaning a part of the ship. A few days after they were buried, numerous crew members had reported seeing ghostly faces in the water and on the ship. Because of this, Captain Keith Tracy decided to take six photos of the water. Fifteen of these photos showed nothing but the sea, but the sixth photo showed what appeared to be two ghostly faces that resembled the deceased crew members. The photo was later proven to be authentic, and to this day, a proper explanation has not been given. Number 2 On the 27th of February, 2015, a young man known as Dalen Pua was hiking the Haiku Stairs, also known as the Stairway to Heaven, which is a dangerous trail on the Mauna Lua Valley in Hawaii. On the same day as this hike, Pua went missing, and since then, he has never been seen again. However, before this strange disappearance, Pua texted various different photos of himself and his surroundings to his family. While most of these photos are what you'd expect from a hiking trip, one image in particular has intrigued people. This picture, which seems very normal at first, actually features another person in it, a man who is seemingly off the beaten path and appears to be crouching behind a bush. Now this trail is abandoned, but is still quite popular, so the idea that another hiker was near Dalin is not unlikely, however the fact that he appears to be hiding coupled with the disappearance has led people to believe that this man may know something or even be responsible for Dalin's disappearance. Either way, the man has never been identified and Dalin Pua is still missing today. Number 3 the Skunk Ape is a Florida-based urban legend and humanoid creature that became quite popular in the 1970s and 80s because of a number of similar reports that a large ape-like creature was running free in various different neighborhoods around the state. However, these reports were mostly ignored and not many people took these claims seriously. This is until 2000, when two photographs were anonymously sent to a police station in Saratoga County. The images showed a large creature baring its teeth at the camera. The camera's red-eye effect made the image a lot creepier and it quickly became a popular urban legend, with many people claiming that the earlier reports must have been true as they fit the description of the creature. Others believe the creature is either an ape, a bear, or possibly another animal altogether, but little is known about where this picture was taken or who even took it, so it is unclear. Number 4 in 1998, an image was released that was taken by NASA that showed a mysterious black object floating through space. While NASA have claimed that this is probably space debris, specifically a thermal blanket that was lost during a space mission, many theorists claim that this image proves the so-called Black Knight conspiracy theory, which is a theory that states that a spacecraft containing extraterrestrial life is currently orbiting the Earth. The theory is quite convoluted and confusing, but this piece of apparent evidence is the most used by theorists who believe it is true. While the thermal blanket explanation is more than likely correct, the actual object was never recorded or looked into further, so it's difficult to definitely say what it is. Number 5 the Spectre of Newby Church is an alleged spirit that lives in the supposedly haunted Newby Hall in North Yorkshire, England. This image, taken in 1963, became famous because it shows the apparent spectre who is a tall, transparent figure that resembles a 16th century monk. The image was proven to be real by many photographic experts, and the biggest claim was that it was the result of double exposure, but many experts have claimed that this more than likely isn't the case. Either way, the image became one of the most popular photos allegedly showing a ghost in recent years, and believers have used it as proof that spirits exist. Number 6. In early February 1959, nine experienced ski hikers were trekking through an area in the northern Ural Mountains in the Soviet Union. They set up camp on the mountain in an attempt to get some rest, but during the night, something made them rip through their tents, leave their supplies, and run for their lives. 
They were ill-equipped for the cold temperatures of the night, and six of the nine hikers died of hyperthermia. However, the other three died due to physical trauma. Also, one of the hikers had their eyes and tongues removed from their body, hinting to the fact that a huge creature of some sort had either killed them or eaten at their remains. This image was taken when they were found, and showed their campsite in its abandoned state. And the investigation team stated that an unidentified compelling force killed these hikers. Number 7. This image was taken in 2016 in West Virginia and many theorists believe it shows the legendary creature known as Bigfoot. The shadowy creature is substantially large, its head is much bigger than an average human's head and its posture doesn't resemble a normal person's posture. All of this and the fact that the photo wasn't doctored in any way has led people to believe that while it may not be Bigfoot, it may be an unidentified creature. West Virginia has been the home to countless Sasquatch sightings, and this image is merely another piece of apparent evidence that an unknown creature is out there. Number 8. In 1967, a Polish man living in Canada known as Stefan Mikolik came home from a trip with a set of mysterious burns on his chest. When he was treated at the hospital, the doctor stated that they had never seen anything like it, and when they asked McCulloch about where these burns came from, his answer was shocking. He explained that he had been out prospecting rocks when he looked up and saw two cigar-shaped UFOs. One landed near him and the other flew away, so Stefan, thinking that it was an experimental aircraft made by the US Army, began to draw it. After he finished drawing the aircraft, Stefan walked towards it and yelled in the direction of the craft, asking if they needed any help. It was at this point that the aircraft flew into the air and blasted Stefan with either air or gas, giving him these burns. While the story was absolutely bizarre, Stefan McCulloch wasn't the type of person to make something like this up, and never claimed that it was extraterrestrial life as he simply did not know. Stefan passed away over 30 years later and his story never changed but it did become one of the most popular UFO cases in Canada's history, and this image became extremely well known. Number 9. In 1975, a woman known as Diane Berthelot visited St. Mary's Church in Warstead, England with her son and her husband. It was there that her husband took this photo, which achieved a large amount of popularity because of the apparent spirit that can be seen in the background. The alleged spirit is known as the White Lady of Warstead Church, and stories about her presence date back to the early 1800s. Of course, these stories were considered to be nothing more than an urban legend, but this photo convinced many people that she was indeed real. Number 10. On the 1st of December 1948, the body of an unidentified man was found on Somerton Beach in South Australia. For months, the case was essentially one dead end after another, with the exception of a suitcase that may or may not have belonged to the man. There were also a few sightings before he passed, but it was unsure if the sightings were actually of the man, or just somebody who resembled him. None of this led to his actual identity, but a few months later, a tiny note was found in a small jean pocket that the man owned, that simply said, to mom should. A Persian phrase meaning finished or ended. The book it came from, which is a translated book of poems released in 1856, was eventually found and instead of getting any kind of answers, the discovery of the book simply raised more questions. In the back of the book, police found some handwriting that was presumably some lines of an encrypted code. This code was never cracked and to this day, the identity of the man, the significance of this book and the code inside it all remain a mystery. This image has been sent out worldwide, but still, nobody who knows this man has come forward. Number 11. Michael Rockefeller was the fifth son of Nelson Rockefeller, who was the 41st Vice President of America. Rockefeller had spent some time in Netherlands New Guinea as a sound recordist for the highly acclaimed documentary Dead Birds. He decided to return to Netherlands New Guinea to study the Azmat tribe. In 1961, Rockefeller and a friend were on a canoe when it crashed and overturned. After drifting for quite a while, Rockefeller decided to swim towards the shore. His friend was rescued the next day, but Michael was never seen again. At first, people assumed that Michael either drowned or was eaten by a crocodile or a shark, but many people have stated that he was actually killed and eaten by locals. Cannibalism was quite prevalent in some of the Azmat villages, and it's quite possible that if he encountered a group of people he did not know, they may very well have reacted violently. For years, these were the two most popular theories, and no other theory had been considered. 
That is, until 1974, when a book was released known as The Search for Michael Rockefeller. The book presented a third idea, that Rockefeller was not killed but was actually accepted into the tribe that he encountered. The theory was of course dismissed from the get-go, but in 2011, a documentary of the same name was released where viewers were showed an image that allegedly showed an Azmat tribe. In the image we can see a bearded white man with the cannibals, which would have been an extremely uncommon sight today, let alone in the late 60s. It's still unclear which theory is actually true, and for all we know they could all be wrong, but this image became one of the most popular and well-known photos attached to the disappearance of Michael Rockefeller. Number 12. In 1964, Robert Lesseric was on a boat trip in Hook Island, Australia, when he came across a large creature in the water that he and a friend described as being over 80 feet in length. Eventually, they decided to film and photograph this creature, and this image became the most famous photo taken of what became the Hook Island Sea Monster. Of course, many people believe that this image was a hoax as the description of the creature couldn't be matched to any other animal on Earth. In fact, people said that this image was photoshopped, which is a bizarre assumption to make as this photo was actually taken 25 years before Photoshop even existed. However, just because these images are real doesn't necessarily mean that it is an 80-foot sea serpent, but to this day, no definitive explanation has been given. Number 13. In March of 1959 in Suffolk, England, Mabel Chinnery and her husband went to a nearby graveyard to visit the resting site of her recently deceased mother. When she returned to the car, Mabel took a photo of her husband and these images were developed. A figure resembling Mabel's mother was in the back seat. Of course, nobody else was actually in the car, so Mabel took it as a final goodbye from her mother. Number 14. One of the most famous and mysterious disappearances that ever occurred was the disappearance of Amelia Earhart, who was an aviation pioneer who disappeared near Howland Island when she was attempting to fly around the globe in 1937. Many theories have spawned from this event and the most popular one is that her plane simply crashed into the ocean but there are other theories suggesting that she made it to shore. This image was taken by a military surveyor the same year that Earhart disappeared and shows a strange object sticking out of the water. Theorists believe that this may have been a piece of landing gear from Earhart's plane as it was taken off the coast of Gardner Island, which has been a huge focus in this case as it may have been the island her plane crashed near or on. What happened is still unclear and the search continues, but this picture has been consistently used by theorists to suggest that she survived the crash. Number 15. During the last Apollo 17 mission in 1972, a photograph was taken that was intriguing to say the least. At first glance, it appeared completely blank and NASA even marked it as so, but when it was touched up, it was clear that there was some kind of a structure in the background. This structure resembled a man-made pyramid due to its size and shape and, for obvious reasons, became quite a discussed image. NASA themselves never commented on the image and many people have different theories as to what it could be. And that's it for this video. Thanks a million for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. I make similar videos to this one every single week, so if you want to subscribe for that, you can. I'll leave my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook down below, which are all deberk 321 You can go follow me over there if you want to. But like I said, that's all for now. As always, until next time. <laughs>